The Pittsfield Police Department wants to get you on a routine, and Officer Darren Derby is here to tell us all about it. Officer Derby, welcome to Iberia TV. Thank you. Morning. Yes, it's good to have you on. And I wanted we wanted to talk to you because I noticed that on Facebook, you have been regularly on the Pittsfield Police Department Facebook page. You've been there, maybe not you, I don't know who's doing it, but whoever's doing I it. I won't divulge that information. Oh, okay, because yeah. they're very clever. Yeah. <laughs> and they are all about a nine, hashtag 9 p.m. routine. And why? Or why are those memes on there? What are you trying to tell people? So uh, probably last couple of months, the chief has, um, he's usually pretty good with uh, being aware of what other departments are doing. If it works for them, why not try it for us? And, you know, we're, we're up for anything to uh, really help uh, bridge that gap and be open with the, de uh, with the department and the community um, and have that um, conversation. Um, so then he started noticing that other departments, uh, one in particular, Gainesville PD, was doing it. They were having great success. Um, it was engaging. Um, you know, people were talking about, you know, how they do their routine and um, how can it not help? So uh, he put some money to work and uh, we now have it in full effect. So why 9 p.m.? Well, first let's talk about mm -hmm. what the 9 p.m. routine is. So tell us so what the is nine, the 9 p.m. routine? So the 9 p.m. routine is really just a reminder for people. Um, 9 p.m. is kind of that general time that a lot of families settle down for the night and, you know, go to bed, uh, get some, uh, you know, shut eye. And it, it's... We didn't invent the 9 p.m. time itself, um, but we just noticed that other departments have gone and gone with that. And when you have a hashtag 9 p.m. routine that started somewhere else and it's kind of taken off, why reinvent it, right? right. Why change it? So, um, so really, it's it's informing people and kind of reminding because. Um, uh, that is the time a lot of people are on social media as well, um, and we can see that by our analytics uh, as well as other departments. So you're looking for that prime time. You know, seven o'clock, people are still eating. Eight o'clock, uh, you know, um, kids are still up for the most part. Um, but then it's the adults that start getting on around nine, ten o'clock, and it just reminds people, hey, lock your doors. You know, it seems simple, but a lot of us we get into that routine and monotony of okay, you know, like uh, ah, whatever, you know. You think it's second nature, but then other things come into play and you forget to do a lot of those. Lock your doors, uh, lock your windows, um, lock your cars, leave a light on outside, you know? Well, I think, is it partly because a lot of crime is just uh, happenstance? Um, people go by, your car is unlocked, you've got change people can just grab things out of your yeah, car. Yeah, I mean, they're opportunists, kind of, right? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're just, crimes, right. right. So, yeah. yes, it, you know, people will come back at us and say, well, you know, my car was broken into, but they smashed my window because my car was locked. Well, it happens, sure, but that's like on a rare occasion. And if they're smashing your window, that's because there's something that's really, usually, right? Right really enticing in there. Could be a laptop, you know, and they're, you know, I can't go into really give specifics because I don't have the actual numbers yeah. of the people that are breaking into cars, what they're doing with those items. But I can tell you the trend is normally um, they're trading that in for something. Um, you know, they're looking for a quick buck. You know, they're not using it themselves. Right. And by the time you realize it, it's likely already gone. You know, they, they have, you know, even though Apple is, uh, they say is uh, impenetrable, right? So, or unimpenetrable. So it, it is, there are criminals who know how to do this and they're willing to pay big dollar for a lot of these items. Um, but hopefully by just that constant reminder of people, they get back into that simple routine. Don't become a victim. Yeah. Well, and it also helps to check because I, <clears throat> I don't wanna say who it was, but um, a friend of mine, his son thought he closed the door in the kitchen mm -hmm. and it came open because sometimes old buildings when can open your doors and somebody just reached in and grabbed his girlfriend's pocketbook off the table because yeah. it was right by the yeah. door. And, so we, and just, we've had those as well. Yeah. Again, you know, you think something can't happen, it likely will or already has in, in somebody that you know. Yeah. Um, so we're just looking to prevent just even, even a small fraction of that. Um, a lot of our job is spent um, on being reactive 
Um, right. So it's only uh, going to benefit everybody, both sides, if we're kind of proactive and getting ahead of everything, you know. So warm weather is coming, whether we believe it or not, um, yeah. and people start to just become complacent. You know, they're, they're sick of winter, they want to get out, and their mind is racing doing other things while they're, they're forgetting the most important things. So. so everybody, make sure you lock your doors at the 9 p.m. routine, and the Pittsfield Police Department will be reminding you at least for a while. For a while, yeah. We'll see how long that the uh, that the that the person or the department can uh, can keep it up. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. they are they're ve they are very clever little memes. I think the one was Arya from Game of Thrones yeah. who came up, yeah. and I'm like, yeah, okay. Now yeah. I, now I have to talk. <laughs> Well, that's, and again, you know, if we just used regular words, you know, people don't understand, but that percentage, the percentage goes up, obviously, much higher when there's pictures involved, uh, no matter right, what age group, right? right? It keeps you, kind of keeps you kind of interested in what's this about. So. Right. So yeah. get, get into a routine and start locking your doors at 9 p.m. or earlier if you want to. So, and, and so what, you talked about proactive, so uh, can you think any other things the department is doing? I mean, I know you, you have a, a radio show, right? Yeah, so uh, nine o'clock every Friday morning. We've done, I think we've only missed one, yeah. and we've done it for like the last three months, I think, yeah, that we're yeah, at it. And uh, again, it's something that the, the department used to have a program called Behind the Badge. And I remember that before I was on, mm -hmm. and it was, it was, to me, it was, it was pretty cool just listening to, to what the cops had to say, you know, when I was younger. So the chief said, hey, you know, we got to bring this back. And uh, lo and behold, after some lengthy, lengthy uh, meetings and conversations, we just said, okay, let's just go for it. Um, for the most part, it's been extremely successful. You know, unfortunately, we don't know how many uh, listeners are out there, but we we know when people call and say, "Hey, listen, you know, I I listen to your show on the internet, and I live in Boston, so it's oh, good, to, wow. right? So, so it's yeah, good to know that there are yeah. people that are interested, yeah. and as long as we have people interested, we'll be willing to kind of keep going out there, you know. So it's yeah. and you know it, it's it, it's finding material um, that keeps people. You know, listening is, right. is really. I mean, you want to have interesting guests correct, like you correct. on your show. Well, no. Nah, <laughs> but, you know, I mean, last week we had the mayor. Um, we are uh, working towards getting the uh, district attorney, um, Harrington, Harrington, on there as well um, to talk uh, some law enforcement related stuff. But, you know, we are looking at community members. We are looking at community organizations that obviously uh, help us as, mm -hmm. uh, uh, as partners in the community. And it's only uh, beneficial to them and us that we get them on there so people are aware that, hey, if you're looking for this type of help, um, or these are the people that help us in the community, um, let's give them some kudos and um, recognition. So, yeah. All right, that's great. And we have a minute or so, and I know I just wanted to get that in because I know the law enforcement torch run polar plunge is coming up. Listen, you are the first one that I think that actually spit that out <laughs> without going law enforcement. Yes, so it's the LETR. Yeah, we've been covering it for a long time. <laughs> yes, so. you have. Yes, you have. The I Berkshires has been there. Yes, yes. Um, so it's uh, so the uh, polar plunge is coming up and we changed venues last year to Bosque. Right. Uh, it was extremely, extremely successful. Um, this year it's going to be at the end of March. I want to say it's a Saturday, Sunday. I just, I, the dates aren't there, so I don't want to throw dates out there. But we'll, it's a, it's the a day, yeah. we'll have the day here. So it's a Saturday, we'll Sunday, there, and so. we have our 24-hour plunge where yeah. people will be plunging 24 hours for, you know, from starting Saturday at noon and ending well, uh, Sunday at 11 a.m. I'm thinking of nominating uh, one of our correspondents, Jeff, to do it. Oh. He's planning on being oh. there. And, uh, That's a nod that, he, yeah, like, that he's going <laughs> to jump in. Is that the nod? Oh, once. once. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, see, we're really well, we have a chicken involved. coop for people like you. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll be looking forward to that. Yeah. And I want to thank you for being on. I appreciate it. And yeah. I want to tell everybody, don't forget your 9 p.m. routine. 9 p.m. at night. Make sure you're locked up at 9, p 9 a.m. on Fridays. Listen to the Pittsfield yeah. Police Department um, on WTBR channel. WTBR FM. Uh, soon we will hopefully be on um, the access, local access at the same time. So That's yeah. great. Yeah, looking forward to it. Thank you so much for hey, being welcome. with us. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.